one of the requirements for the dashboard at Popeyes was to display uh, various key metrics spread out over six different time periods. If we look here at the Popeyes dashboard, we can see here the comp scoreboard. We can see each column represents a different time slice. So this is previous year, same week. This is last week relative to the current week. This is an entirely different time frame which represents a promotional period which can range between three, four, or five weeks. This is the current period which is a four week uh, duration. Um, here's quarter to date and here's year to date. So getting this information to display uh, side by side by side on a dashboard um, without using BI services would require several different techniques. So there's a couple of ways we could do this of course. We could write six independent queries using quas, each query having its own date range specific to the period. We could write a complex derived table in the universe that pivoted the results using complicated SQL within a derived table that more or less leveraged different dynamic dates or dates based on a prompt. With BI services we were able to build this all out in a web intelligence report. So here's an example of the underlying report that feeds that and you'll notice that we have six queries. Each query with a prompt for DMA, direct marketing area, and then a different filter. This filter basically works out the date math that we need to do based on the current week and then displays the data. For the most part each query is identical in its result objects. Some may have more objects than others but for no particular reason. We execute this. We come up with a single table um, where we take the results of each query and merge them together and then display them together. We can then publish this as a BI service. Within this web intelligence report we also leveraged formulas and functions. Uh, we were able to calculate the cells and the um, transactions and the check. And these are all averages. Um, if we look here at the comp cells delta uh, previous year current week, we can go over to this formula. We look at that and we see we were able to leverage that. So we take information from the database and uh, we generate not the average, as I said before, but actually the percent change. For the check, we were able to do the same thing, and for the trans, the check was a little bit more complicated um, because we had to take uh, the cells divided by transactions, the delta between the two divided by over each other. Uh, but again, I was able to do this in web intelligence, leverage web intelligence to do this work, which simplified um, you know, some of the processes I would have had to do in, um, inside of the universe in a drive table. Um, when, if I was using quas, for example. When everything is said and done, we'll end up with the following. Now that we've published the block, we can come to Excelsius. We can see where we've added the query as a web service object in our, our, under our data manager. We've defined it as the marketing comp scoreboard. We've entered in the URL. We've entered in the get report block. Uh, the web service URL is actually tied to our spreadsheet. And then we have all of our input parameters here on the left. So obviously we have to provide the logon and the password. Here are our prompts for direct marketing area from each query. Remember there were six queries. We have the reset state and refresh buttons, input parameters, which are very important. The refresh is important because this tells this BI service to go out and get new data as opposed to using the data stored in the saved report in the repository or from using an instance. And you can see there's the get from latest document instance, get from user instance, and there's the reset state. The reset state will essentially bring in the report uh, and reset it so that uh, any changes will come in. Typically we set both of these to true um, in this particular dashboard. On the output side we simply map our rows 
to specific cells. That information is then mapped into our Excelsius model. On the comp dash tab. And then our analytic here, or in this case a spreadsheet component, is just built straight off this information. 